Pete's Pirate Life, Pete's Pirate Knife. That's probably good. What's up everyone, I'm not Peter McKinnon. My name is Talon Sai, and today we're actually gonna be taking a look at Pete's new knife. Now, if you haven't seen me before, I do a lot of videos on camping and overlanding, outdoor adventure culture stuff, including pocket knives. And Pete and I have been friends for quite a while now, and when I saw that he was releasing this new flipper knife, I knew I had to have it, so luckily he sent one out for me to check out, and I'm actually returning the favor, and I'm gonna be sending him one of my own custom fixed blades. Pete and I have shot some videos together in the past, so if you guys wanna check out some like really old vlogs of us jet skiing and going for coffee and all sorts of like EDC related stuff, you can check those out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Now if you've never seen a product that Pete sells on his website, Pete's Pirate Life, most of the time they are exclusive drops of all sorts of gear and knives, accessories, just like really cool, well thought out items, including the packaging. I actually unboxed this knife last night because it showed up at my doorstep and I couldn't wait any longer. You may have seen that over on my Instagram, but a lot of these products really involve the unboxing experience. So we're gonna jump right into the tabletop view and I'm gonna give you guys my first impression of Pete's Pirate Knife. All right, unboxing experience. This is not something I typically highlight in most videos, especially knife videos. However, when it is done exceptionally well, I think it uh, deserves some highlighting and that's how all of Pete's products are. So here's just the outer box. Got some gold foil pirate logo on there. This is what really caught me off guard. This new flipper knife is packaged so well in this like custom black wooden box. There's a little cutout down here so you can reach your finger in and slide this open. You'll notice there's a little bit of retention there because this thing is actually magnetic as well. So let's get into the box, see what goodies we have in here. Of course, we have the knife. Pete's Pirate Knife sticker. I believe these are exclusive. Down here we have a limited edition Ranger Eye, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna add that to my patch wall. And then we've got a little tiny cleaning cloth here. But look at this presentation. Like this is a box that I'm gonna keep for I don't know what. I'm gonna put some stuff in here. Here you can see the magnet on the back just recessed into the wood. And this right here, that is a good box. That is a great unboxing experience. And Pete nails it with all that stuff. So now let's pop this pirate knife out and see what this thing is all about. So the pirate knife, what is this thing all about? For some dimensions, if you guys have not seen this before, it's got an overall length of about seven from tip all the way down to the end. The handle is roughly four inches long, the blade roughly about three inches, and I would say it's probably like a two and three quarter inch usable edge on there. The handle of this knife is made out of a grade five titanium. It is of course a frame lock and the lockup looks to be right about in the middle. The pocket clip is reversible with a single screw which you will find on the back of the knife and it feels almost like the perfect retention right out of the box. So I'll see how this thing feels in my pocket in a minute. The entire blade is black acid washed and I absolutely love this sort of texture that it brings to the knife, whether it's on the blade, on the handle, or the whole thing like you'll see here. That coupled with an S35VN blade on here really makes this thing pretty damn awesome knife right from the jump. The flipper on this knife is a little short and stubby, but it doesn't protrude out the back of the knife, which I kind of like. There's a little bit of knurling or jimping on the back there, and since this blade is running on ceramic bearings, it seems to be a very good fidget knife right out of the box as well. Now back to the top down, let's take a closer look at this knife so we can really appreciate all of the details here. One of the main things you may notice is that this is a single screw design. It's really just the pivot screw in here and then the screw on the back side, which will allow you to reverse the pocket clip. It really makes the profile of this knife super clean, no matter how you are looking at it. And it's pretty interesting how they did that as well. Now the flipper on here, is great. I wouldn't say there is a ton of retention on the blade so it doesn't like really shoot out but haven't really had any misfires or miss flicks with this knife so far. And like I said I just opened this thing up last night. Here's a close-up look at that acid wash blade and the Pete's Pirate Life logo. 
believe that's laser etched in there. This S35 VN blade appears to be hollow ground, so this thing should be a really, really nice slicer. Kind of an interesting blade shape on there. It's got a little belly, and I mean, for an EDC knife, do you really need more than this? About a three inch blade, a little bit of jimping on the back of the spine there. This thing feels pretty damn good in my hand, and it's almost all black everything, and that's right up my alley, of course. Let's see if we can do a little cut test with a sticky note here. It's hard to do while looking through a camera. say that's pretty dang sharp without doing anything to the blade myself. S35 is definitely a great blade steel for an EDC knife, so this thing has a lot of good things going for it. So if you were one of the lucky ones to get your hands on one of Pete's pirate knives, and you don't have it yet, you should have it because by the time this video comes out, I believe everything has already shipped and it's probably at your doorstep or in your hands while you're watching this video. If you haven't gotten your hands on one, these are exclusive and I don't really like reviewing super exclusive stuff all the time. I'm not sure if these will become available in the future, but they sold out really fast. So there is the chance that maybe they'll come back. I don't know. Regardless, let's do a little bit of comparison with some other more common knives. This is actually one of Pete's favorites right here. Benchmade Bug Out. The Pirate Knife is obviously gonna be a lot heavier than this because this is the CF Elite version, so it has carbon fiber on there. Fairly similar in size though. Next closest thing that I found in my collection, gotta give a shout out to Spider Co, of course, the Delica. Love this blade, super simple, great thumb ramp on there. Lockback design, and that one is roughly the same as the Bug Out as well. I put these two knives very close to each other as far as comparisons and just like an EDC knife. Now moving up to knives that are a little bit more fancy right here, I have a Protec SBR, this thing, whew. I miss how that thing fires. S35 VN blade on there, so similar blade steel. This one's coming in a little bit smaller, but it does share some characteristics with this knife. Deep carry pocket clip on both of these. Similar dimensions for the handle and the blade. Another really good EDC option. Another one of Pete's favorites. I should say favorite makers. Chris Reeves, this is the Mini Sebenza. Put dual thumb studs on here, and I believe this one is an S35 VN blade as well. Carried this thing for a little while, and I mean, you really can't go wrong with a Sebenza, whether it's a large, whether it's a mini, and those are also pretty fairly similar in size. I would say that these are probably the closest as of right now. Another one we got on deck right here is the Banter from Wee Knives. So this one has a fairly similar blade shape, a little bit smaller in a lot of dimensions, but also a great feeling EDC knife. This is a liner lock as opposed to a frame lock like the Pirate Knife. This thing fires great as well. Definitely coming in a little bit smaller overall than the rest and also along those lines, got a kind of one-off Medford Praetorian on here with a vulcanized finish. This is a S35 VN Blade 2, I believe. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, it's hard to keep track of all these knives. That one is also very similar in size to the Pirate Knife. If you have a mini Praetorian, any edition of it, it's gonna be fairly similar to that. But this one falls right in the middle for thickness and just like overall well-roundedness. I think this is going to be a great EDC option for a lot of people out there. Might get some pocket time. I'm not sure how long I will carry this thing, but it's definitely a great fidget tool. So this might become a desk knife at some point. Flicking around while I'm editing this video. Yeah, there's a good chance that that's gonna happen. So those are my thoughts on Pete's Pirate Knife. Huge thank you, of course, to Pete. I appreciate you sending this out, man. It's definitely gonna have a spot in my massive knife case. Have you guys seen this thing recently? I really thought that this one was gonna be big enough, but I outgrew it. So now I'm using the big one and a small one as well. I should really get rid of some knives here in a little bit. But yeah, those are my thoughts on this knife. Killed it. If you got one, you are one of the lucky ones and I hope you guys enjoy this. The centering, the material choices, just the fit and finish on this blade. Super awesome for first time releasing a folder knife. 
Maybe I should release a folder knife in the future. Is that something you guys would want to see? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll leave a link to Pete's stuff in the description down below as well. And if you guys have any questions on this knife, let me know. I'd be happy to answer anything that you got. So that is all that I had for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.